Now, one last touch before we get started with this course. I will be referring to the shared responsibility model quite a lot, and you will see this diagram at the end of this course. This is what defines what is your responsibility versus AWS when using the cloud, and there is a shared responsibility. You, as a customer, you're responsible for the security in the cloud. So whatever you use in the cloud, however you configure it, is your entire responsibility. That includes security, your data, your operating system, your network and firewall configuration, etc., etc. And AWS is going to be responsible for the security of the cloud. So all the infrastructure, all the hardware, or the software, or their own internal security, they are responsible of. And this is why we have shared responsibility. In the Certified Cloud Practitioner exam, you will be asked some questions around finding what is your responsibility and what is the responsibility of AWS. So I just wanted to give you a quick overview of this. And in some sections, I will be referring back to this diagram and this model to tell you what is your responsibility and what is the responsibility of AWS. Finally, when you use AWS, you are agreeing to their acceptable use policy, which you can find right here. And I think it's pretty obvious, but you cannot do any illegal, harmful, or offensive use or content. You cannot do any security violation. You cannot abuse a network, and you cannot do email or other types of messages abuse. All of that makes sense, but it's good to specify it. Now, I hope you're excited. We're going to get started with this course and actually get to use the cloud. So I will see you in the next section.